Welcome in the first lesson in the introduction to the program. Just to kick things off, if somebody didn't use PowerPoint in the past, I wanted to quickly explain why are we learning PowerPoint 2013 and the newest versions of the program. Back in the days when we had PowerPoint 2003 and previous versions, it had still the old layout and it was a simple presentation software. In 2007, there was quite a revolution in terms of the layout of the program. Microsoft introduced the ribbon system. The ribbon system is a quick and handy way of navigating through the program. Microsoft did this for all their Office programs, which means for Word, for Excel, for Access, and of course for PowerPoint. For me personally, this was a great improvement and I love the change and working with PowerPoint since then was a pleasure and it got really better. If you are using any of these versions, please try to upgrade to the newer versions or delete them, they are simply outdated. PowerPoint 2007 would be okay to use, but I am teaching this course from my perspective, from my perception and point of view on the program and from my personal usage as a professional designer. And for me, it's very important to have the feature of creating a video, being able to export presentations, being able to export animations to video. PowerPoint 2010 introduced this feature as a native option inside of PowerPoint to export any presentation to video. Everyone is creating YouTube videos, animations and so on. So for me, and I believe also for you, this is an essential and important feature, so you need at least PowerPoint 2010 to work properly now and in the future with PowerPoint. There is nothing more to know about those versions. Of course, there are many changes, but overall, from my experience, I would say there is not much change in terms of layout and animations and so on between PowerPoint 2007, 10 and 13, especially between 2010, 11 and 13. Those versions are very similar, just minor upgrades and adjustments. So if you can get the latest version and we will work from there. These are the most important changes between those programs, which you need to know. Thanks for your attention in the first lesson of the introduction section. Let us proceed with the next lecture.